Happy Friday guys. We're gonna go into Dollar Tree and check out their Halloween stuff. I was in here the other day and they have so much but um, there were too many people in here to make a video and I didn't have time but it's Friday August 16th so we're gonna go here and see what they have. So they have this whole thing of flowers. They're so pretty um, and they're getting rid of all the summer stuff. It's up here at the front of the store. I'm just gonna kind of pan over and show you guys what they have. Um, so I won't be obnoxious and like talk the whole time. So you guys, I saw Nightmare Before Christmas socks and Disney. And there was another character I can't remember at Walmart. And there were two pairs for $6. So obviously you can come here and get them for $1.25. That's why I didn't buy them there. They were really cute, but it's socks. If I can get them here, I'm going to get them here. So... Here are some of the cute signs they have this year. And I did notice that Michaels had some similar stuff for a lot more money, so. I feel like Dollar Tree's outdone themselves this year. They have so much. They always have these temple like signs or whatever every year. They're always usually the same, but they're cute. That's a rat. <laughs> and bats. I like bats. I think they're so cute. So supposedly they have three colors of skulls plus a glow in the dark. Um, all I see is this purple and green one though. I don't see the other colors here. Then they have these flocked ones. Is that what it's called? I don't know. I think flocked is like snow or something. But they have like that fuzzy velvety grassy type stuff on <laughs> Whatever that is. Just two pieces of eyeballs and spider webs and they have different colors they have white and colors sorry for the noise this is so cute this would go without a puff they carry warmer that we found at bookies the other day they have poison coffins are so cute look at these um soap things I went to the middle here because there's a lot of people, but y'all, these twig garlands are so freaking cute. And if you guys watched my Michael's Halloween video, there was a wreath I wanted and it looked just like this. So, like it's so cute. And that wreath was expensive. I can't remember how much it was, but it was so expensive. This table we're on her for $1.25 is so cute. It's like spider webs. What is this? It's a hanging decoration. So it looks like this. And then they have this one. But they are so like amazing quality for $1.25. Like they really, this is probably the best year that I've seen Dollar Tree have Halloween stuff. Like they always have good stuff, but this year it's just like so good. I'm gonna try this aisle again, but here's the whole thing of flowers that they have. And here's an end cap. So we'll go over this. I'm trying to stay out of their way if they don't want to be on YouTube. These little bats are cute. Are they clips? Yes. So these little bats like clip on things. And do the spiders? Yeah. So all these are clips actually. Look at the roses. So I could have gotten that wreath and put these little purple roses on it. And it would have been so cute. Look at these little projector lights. I might have to buy one and try that out. And then they have the seasonal trees every year. Um, they usually have Halloween, Christmas, Easter. I think Valentine's Day. I love these colors together for Halloween. And then they have plain black. Um, plain purple. That's like orange. Hang on. Yeah, orange. So orange and black would be super cute. There's some tape. That's a cute little sugar skull lamp there. And then I wanna show you guys this stuff before they sell it all, cause it goes really fast. So they have 
um, glow in the dark nails, which I may have to get my daughter some because y'all, she's been putting on fake nails from Tamo lately and she loves them. So that's all the colors they have there. And then here's some treat bags. They have pumpkins. Cute little mix of things there. I love the bats myself. I would get the bats or the pumpkins for sure because they are so cute. If you wanted to take like donuts to your kids class and put a donut in each bag, they have little donuts on them. They're so cute. Look at the you put drinks in these. It says vampire blood on the bag. So cute. Mini pails. Pumpkin decorating kit. So I see this one and a girl. Sorry, the thing cut off. I don't know why. Did you guys see this though? I heard it cut off. I'm gonna hit the button. What's this? Oh, he's cute. He's not like evil looking like this one is. And then they have chair covers, y'all, for a dollar twenty-five. You know, you could really make your kitchen cute. So they have ghosts, skeletons, and then like magic theme stuff for your kitchen. Look at this flower sack towel with all these uh, happy little dudes on there. So cute. And then tablecloths. These little sippers, if you're having a Halloween party, I mean, are so cute. And then they have um, iridescent skulls silver schools and these guys I really think this one is the cutest one I like pumpkins and ghosts the best for Halloween this looks like a little magic ball or something and then oh, I always get the plates they have the cutest plates I think that whole rack is the same with the little haunted house but then they have shaped ghosts shaped pumpkins cats which are so cute Frankenstein and witches so you can get one of each of those packs and have a variety and then they have um, these paper like popcorn buckets it says treat bucket so you can do whatever but they have a big size a medium size and a little size and then of course treat buckets to trick or treat in a four pack of cups for whatever what are these things these are cute I don't know. It's like a little cauldron looking thing. Stay spooky. Happy hauntings. And here are some more treat bags. These are adorable. Oh, they're loud. Sorry. These people at Dollar Tree that work here always be acting crazy. But if you can't have fun at work, like, why come, right? Here's some witches, like, chip and dip hats or something. I don't know. Pick your poison. What is this? Oh, this is cool. So it's like a tray and they have it in black as well. And then these balls, these balls. Have y'all seen where you take like a record and you melt it in the shape of a bowl? It's super cool. And then they have these with the hands on. They have all types of like drinkware and stuff. Like there's so much to show y'all. I'm just gonna kinda that says snack dispenser, so they have a skull, a pumpkin, which was what I would get if I was going to get one, and then a ghost, and a cauldron. Really cute. These little boxes that look like books they're so cute and these are like as big as my hand but they do have bigger ones up here that are a little taller and wider so cute let's get bougie or boogie i don't know stay spooky these are so cute and then they have these giant color books y'all sorry i was trying to be quiet while those ladies passed me because People look at you like you're rude, but like I'm trying not to get people on camera. I'm trying to just be respectful. So, <gasps> look at the doggy bags. Holy cow, those are so cute, you guys. If you like dogs, here's these guys. They have so many treat bags this year, like different kinds, different sizes. You can't even go wrong with your classroom party this year because they have so many. So here's some window clings. They have pumpkins, 
cute little witch's hat or house, I mean. Two stones. Oh, look at these. They're so cute. It's a little dragon cat or something. I don't know. And then a ghost cat, a devil cat, a pumpkin cat. People love cats. So somebody will love those. And then these little ghosty guys here. These. Oh, these are cute little candy corn people. The purple ones are my favorite. And y'all, these signs are just premium for $1.25. Most of the signs do have glitter, but you can put hairspray on them and it won't come off. So, all right, let's start with the fall stuff because that's all the Halloween stuff that I see. So, here are more fall stems, and then of course, there are Halloween stems as well. Um, they have some with eyeballs in them every year, the same ones, and then spiders. Um, I think up front they have some with pumpkins in them, and they're super cute. Then they have these little clip on flowers. They do have the mini straw bills again this year. I'm going to drop them. Don't want to make a mess. And then all these leaf garlands of different colors. That would be so pretty if you wind them all around together. And they had these last year. The little recipe uh, signs. They had these last year too. Or something very, very similar. These might actually be left over from last year. I don't really know. These two up here that say Fallen Home are so cute. They look like they belong at Hobby Lobby. And then here are all the metal picks for your um, garden outdoors and stuff like that. So those are cute. I'm going to go down this aisle because they have a lot of... This is half fall and half Halloween on this aisle. So there we go. Leather pumpkin clips. I guarantee they're not real leather, but they look like leather. So Oh, it says faux, duh. I didn't see that part. They have these if you guys aren't traditional and you want something like non-traditional. They have little velvet ones that are pink. And then they have these little um, trinket boxes that are acorns and pumpkins. Tea lights, which I can attest to those smelling really, really good. I got some last year um, in the pumpkin one. And then here's all their ribbons. And each one of these spools, let's see... I am blind. Two and a half inches by 108 inches. They have these every year, and every year I get one or two and put candles in them. And I love them. There's some little bead things. I don't, it's just like not very many beads in that. But So here are the velvet ones. They're just green, teal, gray, and then of course black, and then the pink ones I showed you guys. And then they have the ending corn little bows and these little trays some things are just strewn about because people pick them up and then they leave them but I love these sunflowers that have like glitter in them holy cow they're so cute and then here's the ribbon the little ribbon that they have and then they have these door hangers every year and for each holiday of course they have different colored ones but this one has pumpkins on the end which is so cute and these other ones are just plain these are paper craft kits and like little leaves. Oh my God, look at these y'all. <laughs> these are the ones I would get probably. They have these leaves and then those Thanksgiving ones kind of. These are giant leaves. Oh, I guess they're placemats because they're giant. All right. This is where they got those little trays that were just laying there. More door hangers, decorative bones. And then these little picks, they're so cute. These would go with that wreath I found at Michael's. I need to go get that. But part of the reason I have it is I don't know what to put on it or just hang it like plain. If you guys are making wreaths, here's the mesh tubing in all different colors. They have the wood beads. These look a little worse for wear. They look like somebody stretched them out. All right, and they have little lights. So here are the lights that they have. Pumpkins, 
acorns and leaves. That's what they look like lit up. And then here's all the Halloween ribbons. And the little ones. These are kind of picked through, but um, somebody's bought a bunch of them, I guess, to make wreaths and such. But LED shadow protector? I don't know. I guess it like projects. Oh, projector. God, I'm having a bad morning. I can't read today. There's a ghost, but he has like a pumpkin face. And a pumpkin face. And a house. And a pumpkin spice latte. And a pumpkin. All these little wood things that you paint. I've never enjoyed doing those, but some people might. And then here are the Halloween lights. The bats are so cute. Here's a hand puppet kit with a cat. A monster. A ghost. That's also a cat. And then they have these really pretty like pipe cleaners. They call them tinsel stems. And here's some Halloween hangers with a hand or an eyeball. And then all this mesh that you make wreaths with they have. And then the sparkle like tool or whatever it's called. So, and there's some purple lights. The only color I've seen here is purple. I haven't seen any other color of string lights than that. So, let's see. I don't know if they have their Halloween candy out already yet. But here's these little guys. They light up. They are so cute. And they're so well made for $1.25. Like, they have a ghost, a skull, and a pumpkin sack. These are cute little mesh pumpkins. And LED candles. Oh, here's some more lights. They're candy corn like colored lights. Light bulbs. Let's face the shelf for the people here. And these little lantern things. This is just like a random little end cap here. Alright. What's this stuff? Oh. Paper bags. And then more of these little metal signs. They have repeats everywhere, you guys. Like, here's some more ribbon. Some more mesh stuff for your, your wreath making. More trees. So they have these. I think it's two. Yeah, two for a dollar. Which, I mean, they're cute. Depending on what you're going to do with them. Lanterns and more things to color or paint. They have these every year. They have orange, black, and blue of the gingham pumpkins. And I can't really reach up there. I'm pretty short, but I'll try to show you guys what's on the top. Um shelf because they have these that match the little velvet pumpkins they're the same color then they have these clip on they look like sweaters sweater pumpkins they're adorable and then here's the fall mesh more of the little velvet guys I guess I could have looked down here because here are all these and then here's some picks does this have one of each color on it or something no it's one color Here's the sweater guys right here. That's what they look like. They're cute. Acorns. And then they have the pumpkin reforms. And then regular, whatever that is. It's like, looks like a wagon wheel. And then ribbons. I can't really get them out. They're like stacked on top of one another. Okay, there is a lot of stuff for Halloween and fall in the dollar plus section but that aisle is kind of full so I'm just gonna walk around for a second and try to find candy I don't see any Halloween candy um I know it is a little soon but Kroger has all of theirs out so I just figured Dollar Tree would too but it's fine like if they don't um but I was trying to find that and clearly it's a little too soon for Dollar Tree. So that's fine. We're just going to mosey around until those ladies get off that aisle. Because I don't want to be intrusive when they're trying to shop. Um, I don't think that's very nice. But I thought I would come over to the body wash section because they have the native dupes. I saw these on YouTube. Um, the jelly bean one specifically. They don't, I don't see the jelly bean one. Coconut vanilla smells good. And then they have sugar cookie. 
I wish they had the jelly bean. I want to smell it. Oh, that sugar cookie stinks. Um, I had the native jelly bean deodorant. It's the best smelling thing in the world. Or gummy bears. It was gummy bears. Um, and it smells so freaking good. But I'm not seeing the jelly bean body wash. Or the gummy bear body wash. Whatever it is that Dollar Tree decided to use on theirs. I do think it's jelly beans. I'm gonna go over here and see if I can get down that aisle now without bothering anyone. I forgot to show these solar lights when I came in the door. So I wanted to get those on here because they are stinking cute. And I've gotten the sunflower ones before and they work for years. guys I'm in this aisle I was trying to be quiet because there's people in the aisle besides me but these are the signs they have it says welcome this is cute for all you hocus pocus fans because it says hocus pocus it's upside down though and then we have welcome and these lanterns and anything in this aisle is no more than five dollars a lot of this is three but the big stuff like this is five so I still think that's a good bargain considering the prices at Hobby Lobby and Michaels and at home and home goods and all that. So here's some cute tinsel, y'all. How much is that? Five dollars. Oh wait. It says tinsel wreath. Oh, it's because it's hanging off of it. It looked like plain tinsel. Light up magic ball. So this is what it does. It gives you a seizure. Just so you guys know. This is snack bowl. It's cute. I would get the iridescent one if I were to buy one. I saw these the other day and they're so cute. They're these changing like pictures. It says it has lights and sound, but I don't want to turn it on. Let me see how you turn it on. Hold on. pretty creepy actually I want to know what the man sounds like but I don't want to be annoying so I'm not going to tell anyone here's some blankets this looks like it has dogs on it let's see it has a dog on it they're five dollars this one is like magic like moon and star stuff Spiderweb fall. They're so cute. They're really plushy for five bucks too. And then here's giant velvet pumpkins that match all the other sizes of pumpkins. And the flannel ones are amazing. Look how cute those are. I really think this one is so cute. All right, and a little cutting board that says gather and it's, oh, it says cheese board wall decor, but I don't know that you couldn't use that for a cheese board. Like just eat right off it, right? Beware doormat. They have a different styles. Let's see here. This one is Interview Dare. I can't see that one. It says something about black cats. Happy Halloween. They're super heavy and rubbery, and I can't lift them all. Black cat apothecary. That is adorable. Two tiered bat tray. Let's see what that's about. Five bucks. Super cute. And then here's these um tablecloths. I would get the sunflower one. Oh, they're not as heavy as they look actually. They're quite light. So that is all the stuff I see for Halloween and fall, you guys. Um as soon as they get their candy in, I'll go ahead and do another video because they usually have a ton of candy to give out. Um oh what are these? These are heavy and premium for $5, y'all. It's like an easel thing. It is humongous for five bucks. So they have, excuse me, welcome the witches in. I'm gonna drop these. 
Wouldn't you like to know? With the magic ball. Let's see. This is cute. Let me pull this out. I don't want to drop anything. And I'm working one-handed here, you guys. Yikes. Clumsy Marvin. Hang on one second. adorable i would actually get this one for my front porch so that's all i have for y'all today that makes mist oh wait there's some down there all right guys i'm gonna go and um if i buy anything i'll do a haul but i don't see anything i want today so i hope you guys have a happy friday and a great weekend